Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark at GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. It's another shaving video and boy I'm really looking forward to this video because I'll be using the Arco Shaving Stick. Boy this is terrific. I really like this product a lot. You get so much lather out of this. It really is terrific. You've got to try this. I'll have links below to Amazon where you can get a dozen sticks for just a little bit over a buck. Really a nice price. And they, it looks like they last a long, long time. I've been using it, and this is the first time I'm going to be shaving on camera with it, but I've had it for several uses already. So we'll be using this one here that uh, I've already kind of put through the paces and sort of know what to expect. If you go to Arco's website, arcomen.com, A-R-K-O-M-E-N.com, you can get a history of this product and all their products and also see what they offer. Uh, this was first introduced in 1957, so to kind of keep in the era of that shave, I'll be using my Gillette Slim Adjustable Razor. It's an H1, which means it is from the first quarter of 1962. So I'll be using this for the shave today. I'll also be using a Gillette 7 o'clock razor blade. Now these are made in St. Petersburg, Russia. The reason why I picked that is because Arco has a huge international market in the Middle East and also in Russia. They're all over. I mean, it's their own website says that they have a very big market in Russia. So I figured Gillette Blade from St. Petersburg, Russia, in a Gillette razor from 1962, using Arco's own shave stick that was first introduced in 1957, kind of keep everything in the family, so to speak. So let's get right to it. I'll be taking this blade out here like this. You know, I'm going to set that right there. And I'm going to open up my razor. And I'm going to go on the mild side this time. Last time I used the adjustable razor in the video, I probably overdid it. I probably used too aggressive of a shave with it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but for this shave, I'm going to stay on the mild side. So there's my Gillette 7 o'clock razor. Here's my, my razor blade, 7 o'clock, my razor. And we're just going to set that in there like that. Nice alignment with these. Now, with these, you tighten the doors and then you give it a quarter turn to lock everything in place. And you can see I'm at setting number four. So my first pass could be at setting number four. And uh, I'm going to do three passes and they'll be lighter on each pass. So let's get right to it. All I have to do is wet my face and start the lathering process. My brush is already soaking, so let me get some water here. Now the other thing I'm going to do is, I am gonna run a little bit of water over this shaving stick. Not hot water, nice and warm, because this does like water. And I'm gonna dip it in the actual sink bowl with water here a little bit. And now I'm going to just rub it on my face. And I've got some good beard growth here. I've really been looking forward to this shave. Just rub it on there. You know, you can press it in rather lightly, but you also want to do some upstrokes here to get it underneath that whisker. Okay, that's going to be more than enough. And with this Vikings Blade White Knight uh, shaving brush, synthetic, it really is going to explode in lather. Now, I'm going to just give it a little ring, but there's a lot of water retention in this brush right now. What I like to do is, because it doesn't naturally bloom out like a real badger brush or a real boar brush, you have to press in a little bit in order to get that, that wider area to agitate and build a lather. So sometimes when you press down on a flat surface, you might get a little splatter, say, against the mirror. Well, I've overcome that by just, if you can see here, you, if you just get a point and open that up, it'll open up the brush naturally. Well, the only point on my face, other than my nose, is, of course, the chin. So that's where I start. It opens it up, and there you go. And it is just going to explode in lather. Look at that, already. Wow. 
Water is the key. You might think you have a little too much water at first, but no, just keep going. And it just explodes in lather. And I'm going to have, just from what I see right now, I'm going to have enough for three good passes. No problem at all. Now you can just start painting it on and smoothing it out. It really is an amazing product. Look how much I have on that brush. And really, I think the key is this Vikings Blade Synthetic Badger, the White Knight. I don't get this kind of lathering from a boar brush or a badger brush. Boar brushes are recommended. Well, I have one good boar brush, a Samoge 1800, and I always, when it comes to the third pass, I always have to reapply the shaving stick. There's never enough in the brush for three good passes. With this, I'm going to get three good passes right from the brush without having to, without having to reapply with the shaving stick. Not a big deal. The point is, is that I think the synthetic brush makes a heap more lather than a boar brush. Your mileage may vary. Okay, so I'm going to heat up my blade with some good hot water on both sides. I'm going to run it in the, the sink bowl there with the rest of the water to kind of cool it down, get it at the right temperature. I'm locked in place. I'm locked in place. I'm at level four. All right, here we go. 30 degrees. Okay, <laughs> here we go. 30 degree angle, light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, and you can just hear it slicing right through. And it gives you some really nice cushion and protection, really. Now this is at level four. My skin borders on the sensitive side, so that's probably gonna be more than enough. I know I've had it up to seven, and that was really too much for me. This particular razor. You can see how you get that nice, classic sweep and cleaning of the, of the lather, cutting away the whisker. Really been looking forward to this shave. It's amazing how a razor that's over 50 years old, you put in a new blade and it still works. It's amazing. Now the Arco scent, as I've said before, is very, very similar to ivory soap. I have no problem with the scent at all. Some people think the scent is not that great. I think it's very, very similar to ivory soap with a little bit of lemon undertone to it. It's very nice scent to, very nice scent to my senses. I'm going to rinse. Nice first pass. Very, very nice. Like that a lot. So we're going to go ahead, see, got plenty on the brush. Don't have to worry about getting more cream or more soap. Just go right to the brush, put some more on. This is great for travel, absolutely great for travel. You just throw a, a smaller synthetic travel brush in your dot kit along with a Arco shave stick. Your razor, some blades, and you're all set. And if you travel, you can go to places like New York, Chicago, LA, Cleveland. 
<laughs> Cleveland, where we have hardly any giant monsters. You like that? My nephew made that. He's a graphic artist and illustrator. And he has it on his website. So I'll get a link for you. So if you want one, you can buy one. I think it's a terrific shirt. Celebrates Cleveland. My hometown. Well, this second pass is very nice. You know, I forgot to adjust down to three, so third pass will be at level two. We'll do these two passes at four. Got so excited about this shape, I forgot to dial it down. Well, happy accident in that I had some good growth beard there, good beard growth there rather. And I think I needed this second pass to be at level four. No matter because level four, five, and six is right in the same area as the chrome tipped super speed that I also have from 1957. So it's still in the mild shade, mild shade area right there at the beginning of that spectrum. So we're okay. And we're merely going to finish up in the extra mild one, two, three area. We're going to go down all the way down to two. Now, before I rinse, I'm going to go ahead and loosen up that right there. And we're going to go from four down to two like that. And then we're going to, Lock it down. So we're at two now, so we're all set. Yeah, I needed that at level two. Now watch, this is the third pass right here. Oop, let's get that on. Look at this, this is the third pass, look. Look, look how much more I still have on this brush. It's amazing. Really nice. Boy, plenty of soap. Plenty of soap. I just, I am just amazed by this. You know, even if you're, say you're, you're pinched for space in your dop kit, you can cut this, you can cut this in half and just take half a stick. This stuff lasts so long. You don't need to take a stick with you if you're going to be gone for a weekend. Take a half a stick. Why do you need a full stick? You're not going to use even a half a stick over a two or three day weekend. Impossible. Get a lot of value for the money. Look at this. Just, I'm painting it on now. I have so much. Look how much more I have on that brush yet. It's just, like I say, I think the key to this is this brush. I really do. This brush just does a splendid job. Really, really nice. Okay, so we did with the grain, we did take a pass was across the grain east to west. Now we're gonna do now we're gonna do <laughs> south to north against the grain. Here we go. And we're at and we're at level two and we're locked in place. Here we go. Oh that's nice. Can feel that cleaning up very, very nicely. And this Arco gives me a lot of nice protection. A lot of nice slickness too. Although I will say this, I don't think it's going to give me the same kind of protection at a really aggressive level on this razor. If I'm in six, seven, eight, well, seven, eight, nine, somewhere up there, all the way up to the upper end. For my skin, 
Probably not. It's probably going to be too aggressive for me. And I don't think this Arco is going to really save me that much. I'd probably have to go with... Uh, Something that offers a little more protection. I think I used Paraso for that shave, didn't I? And I think that helped. Paraso sensitive skin. This is good stuff, really. But really, you know, I'm a mild shave guy. I like, I like that mild shave. Now, I often talked about my Chieftain razor because this razor is fantastic. Vikings Blade Chieftain Razor. This razor is fantastic because it's right there in that sweet spot of being not too aggressive, not too mild, right in that sweet spot. Oh, got a little neck right there, very small. That could very well be a blemish too, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's rinse and see if we need a touch up or see if we're done. I need a little bit of touch up right here. Right here. And I'm okay on that side. So I'm just going to go this way here, do a little buffing. Level two. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. We're going to do a rinse from the tap. Get some nice clean water in there because there's a lot of soapy residue here. Because I say, as I say, it generates a lot of lather. Look how much more is still left on the brush. I mean, it's a, it explodes. And look, look, you know, haven't used that much. I mean, I mean, look. I mean, I'm not using that. I have not. This is maybe my fifth or sixth shave with it. And it's not that. I haven't used that much. It's amazing. Okay, so let's uh, get a nice warm water rinse from the tap. Very nice. And whatever this was over here, no big deal. Gonna do uh, cold water rinse now, close my pores. It'll probably close off when it was over here too. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. Terrific shave. Really nice shave. Nice mild shave. No irritation, no cuts, no nicks, except maybe that. Well, that was probably, like I say, a little blemish. I don't think that's a, a major deal. Got a nice, fresh towel. Oh. I was looking forward to this shave. Oh. All morning long. Wow. Very... Very nice. Some nice moisturizers in there, although I think Palm Olive has a little more moisturizing. The Palm Olive Shave Stick. But this is very, very good. Very, very good. I am just very nice. All right, so I'm going to finish it off with some Clubman. Pinot Clubman. This is company goes back to the 1800s. It's been around forever, so it qualifies as being part of that 1957, early 1960s era. Um, I'm told that uh, according to 
their website. Bob Hope used this. So uh, I'm in good company knowing that uh, Bob Hope used this. And he's also a Clevelander, by the way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, some nice happy stinging there. So I know I got a good close shave, mild, but yeah, some nice happy stinging there. Now, because we're into late fall now and uh, Christmas is coming up and that sort of thing, the weather outside is getting cool, cold. So I'm going to be using some uh, Wild Avon Wild Country Aftershave Balm. Uh, again, this scent was introduced in 1967, so it qualifies as being part of that era. So we're going to be using this because I definitely need the moisture. Oh yeah, that's very nice. And we're going to do a little bit upstairs here. Boy, yeah, it just. Great shave. Really, really nice. Got some terrific feedback from the Pinard Clubman. Uh, nice, mild shave. No irritation, no cuts, no nicks. And maybe that little guy right there is just starting to open up again a little bit from the from the moisturizer I put on, but it's nothing major. I think it's just a little blemish. Other than that, nothing really to, to write home about in the way of uh, uh, any accidents uh, with the shave. Really, really very, very nice. Give this a try, Arco Shave Stick. This is really a terrific product. Uh, as I say, the big uh, sale point here is its portability. You can throw this in your DAP kit. You can travel with it. Um, it doesn't take up a lot of space and boy it gives you heaps of lather. But again, my opinion is that the Vikings Blade White Knight uh, shave brush, the synthetic shave brush, uh, really does a great job in helping to generate that lather. Um, I've, you saw me get three passes out of it easily with no problem. Same was true with the Paul Palmolive shave stick. Three passes, absolutely no problem. This brush really is, does a great job. And it has a lot of nice backbone to it, so you get a lot of nice exfoliation when you are building that ladder. So you're scraping off all those dead skin cells uh, and kind of renewing your whole, uh, your whole skin there, getting rid of all the old cells off the surface and revealing all the, uh, the new stuff underneath. Um, that's why the wet shave is so great, because we thin that skin out. And it's a very healthy process from what I understand. So, um, there you go. Get that brush, get the Arco Shave Stick, and you will get a great shave too. Okay, that's it. That's all I want to mention to you. Thanks very much for tuning in. Please subscribe. Comment below. Let me know. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog, for my comic strip, George. Uh, other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.